Wait, no start. Good morning, dear people of God, and win today, win forever, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes, uh, I am your brother and friend, Prophet Desmond Gray, by the grace of God, the founder of Determination Ministries International, based here in Kote. Yes, I am coming with this message that the Lord have revealed to me. This night, I had an encounter that I decided to share with us. You remember there was a time I gave a prophecy during the, the, the World Cup in Qatar concerning Vincent Abubakar's red card. It is on YouTube and I sent him a message and he did not take it serious. I said, do not be excited and it came to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, I was not thinking about the African Nations Cup that much. The only thing I was thinking is the love I have for my country, Cameroon, because a good Christian is a good citizen. So I was praying that Cameroon should go forward. That's why you see I'm uh, wearing, I'm having my Cameroon flag here. But uh, uh, to, to my surprise, you can see my eye. If you look at my eye, you see one side is a little bit high. It means that the battle in the realm of the spirit for me to rescue the trophy was not easy. Mm. But finally, uh, the, Lord, the will of God has to manifest. Amen. Finally, the will of God has to manifest. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 24, verse 1, He said, The earth is of the Lord, and the, His fullness thereof. Amen. It means that everything in the world belongs to God. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Yes. It belongs to God, and even uh, uh, the, 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 the football tournaments, they belong to God. Amen. So God is also interested. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So yes, and it is for his glory. Amen. Amen. So I saw in my vision uh, uh, last night, I saw a player lift up the, the trophy, and then they, they, they were calling the player the man of the tournament. Amen. When I heard the man of the tournament, I was trying to look at him, and I saw the young man from Nigeria, and then his name is Victor Osimen. Amen. Victor Amen. Osimen. Amen. So when I look at I saw Victor Osimen carrying up the trophy of man of the match. And not only man of the match, man of the tournament. Amen. Man of the tournament. So I was like, Victor Osimen, okay. So what is happening? I look around, then I saw a young goalkeeper, a young goalkeeper who was given a trophy. It was dark, a little bit dark in like in complexion, and then not to having an average height. Okay. Amen. So I was trying to look at there was like that was this the, goal, the goalkeeper for the tournament. So, but when I listened, I heard a name that was mentioned. So, and I began to contemplate in the morning. I was asking myself, is this name a name of a goalkeeper or a name of a coach? Because I heard the name Cisse. Cisse. That Amen. name Cisse. I heard the name Cisse in the realm of the spirit, and it, they were giving an award to Cisse. So I was like, is it that the goalkeeper will be Cisse or the coach? What he say? So the Lord took me now in the realm of the spirit and understanding, and makes me made me understand. Cameroon is playing today, right? Yes, exactly. Cameroon is supposed to play Senegal today. Huh? That's true. Yes, exactly. So normally I have to wish Cameroon the best. Today is the is it the 19th? 19th. Today is the 19th of January. Yes, exactly. yes. I have to wish Cameroon the best. But the truth is that I did not see Cameroon carrying a trophy. Mm. Okay. Mm. And I did not see uh, Ghana carrying a trophy. Mm. I did not see Ivory Coast carrying a trophy. I do not see Egypt carrying a trophy, but Nigeria will carry the trophy. Amen. So the country that will win the African Nations Cup this year in Ivory Coast and make it the fourth year, because they are carrying the fourth, it will be Nigeria. Amen. Amen. It is Nigeria. Amen. Amen. So congratulations to Nigeria. Amen. Amen. This is the 19th of January, I'm telling you already, so that when it happens, you give glory to God. Amen. And why is God giving Nigeria this trophy? God wants to balance the equation. Amen. God wants to balance, because God is telling Africans that, and then other people that, the African uh, tournament should be respected. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We should not say, oh, Africa is like this, that somebody can have 10 trophies, and then the other one is having one or two. No. Nigeria has three, and 2023, 24 is making Nigeria fall. So when you know 2024, in new things. Eh? Amen. Amen. Nigeria has been like 2000, since 2011, or what, that they got their next, their last trophy, they will get a new one this year. Amen. Amen. Okay? Amen. So Nigeria will play the final against Senegal. Amen. Amen. So Nigeria will play the final against Senegal is playing Cameroon today. Amen. Senegal is playing Cameroon today. Amen. But I don't know whatever the outcome will be. I'm not prophesying about the match. But the truth is that I'm not seeing Cameroon arrive in the finals. Mm. Okay? Amen. Whether Cameroon win today. And the reason why God is giving this Nigeria victory is because Nigeria is a prayer footing. Amen. Amen. Listen to me very well. 
The man that became the man of the tournament, the Lord revealed to me, is a man that was, he attended church service on crossover. Mm. So he secretly, remember the prophecy I gave you people in church? I said 2024, God wants to announce the people of God and promote them. Amen. Put them in high positions. Amen. Men of God will be put in high positions. And I said men of God should be careful with their environment. Mm. That was the prophecy. Yes. So the crossover night, this man that God is giving the trophy, he was, he was, he attended the, the crossover night in the church. Amen. Amen. And God said, because you people are a prayerful nation, because of no matter, you have your weaknesses, but you love God. Everything belongs to God. And it's a message to Cameroon. Cameroonians respect God. Mm. The reason why God is giving me this prophecy is so that you should know. That's why I put my Cameroon flag. You should know that this voice is speaking from Cameroon. Amen. From a small subdivision called Cote. Amen. It's a voice in the land of Cameroon. Amen. And Cameroonians should honor their own. Amen. Honor your own, Cameroonians. Amen. Honor your own. Amen. We battle, we love God, we love our nation. Amen. A good citizen, a good believer should be a good citizen. Amen. A good man of God should be a good citizen. Amen. But we cannot do more than that. Mm. We cannot do more than that. Mm. So Cameroonians, tell your teammates to return to God. Amen. The way they used to be so prayerful and united, let them come back like that. Amen. Let the division not continue. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let the misunderstanding not continue. Amen. Let everybody respect each and every one. Amen. But God first. Amen. Cameroon, believe in God. Amen. If you want the solution to the crisis in Cameroon, give your lives to Christ. Amen. It is true that many men of God in the world have spoiled the reputation of the world. It is true that many things, even me, I wasn't believing because I see many terrible things being done by people who are supposed to be pastors. But we cannot continue to believe that the, the power of the counterfeit is more than the power of the original. So there is an original. Amen. Let us watch out for the original. Amen. Cameroon, que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Amen. Ma prophétie, c'est pour vous dire, j'ai vu dans ma vision les deux équipes qui vont jouer la finale. Je n'ai pas, j'ai dit, pourquoi j'ai dit les deux finales? Parce que le trophée qui a été porté en haut, que j'ai vu sur les mains de Victor Oshimé, on m'a dit que c'est, il est sorti l'homme des tournois de, 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 de la Coupe d'Afrique Nation. Et comme il est sorti l'homme des de, de tournois, donc de tout le match, j'ai vu le trophée sur ses mains et, et ça signalait la victoire des Nigériens. Amen. Et voilà, l'Esprit le, de Dieu dit, c'est parce que ce monsieur, à la traversée de la nuit des prières, il a dépensé son temps à l'église. Donc si le Cameroun retourne à l'église, Dieu va le favoriser. Aujourd'hui, le Cameroun joue contre le Sénégal. Moi, je suis un citoyen camerounais, je dois prier que le Cameroun gagne. Mais je ne peux pas faire autrement. Parce que la vérité, c'est que même si le Cameroun joue bien comment, je ne les vois pas avancer. Parce qu'ils ont laissé Dieu derrière. Qu'ils amènent Dieu devant et ils vont réussir. Le Nigeria est venu avec Dieu et ils vont gagner. Amen. La finale sera entre le Nigeria et la Sénégal. Amen. Que Dieu bénisse sa parole. Que Dieu bénisse le Cameroun. Amen. Que Dieu bénisse nous tous. Amen. Et que nous prions aussi pour accepter la volonté de Dieu. C'est pour la gloire de Dieu. Amen. Merci beaucoup. Le Cameroun joue aujourd'hui. Je oui. souhaite que le Cameroun gagne. Mais le Cameroun joue contre le, la Sénégal. Je souhaite qu'il gagne. Mais je ne le vois pas avancer jusqu'au final. Je vois plutôt la Sénégal au final avec le Nigeria. Plus que l'homme de match sort de Nigeria, de tournoi, qui va porter le trophée. Maintenant, le Sénégal va bien jouer. Ils vont bien jouer. Mais l'erreur qu'ils vont faire, c'est la volonté de Dieu. On ne peut pas dire que c'est une erreur, c'est la volonté de Dieu. Parce que Dieu a vu le cœur des Nigériens et il veut les annoncer. Amen. Et il veut aussi les donner ce tournoi. Amen. Ça fait longtemps. Amen. Alléluia. Amen. Donc le peuple de Dieu doit réjouir. Je donne cette prophétie comme je veux. C'est pour la gloire de Dieu. Amen. Ce n'est pas pour annoncer que nous sommes forts. Amen. Et nous prions seulement que la volonté de Dieu manifeste. Amen. Que ça soit pour la gloire de Dieu. Amen. On va mettre cette prophétie sur YouTube et partout pour la gloire de Dieu. Amen. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Merci. Amen.